Hi everyone, welcome back to Rich's Garage. Uh, this is the video that I'm going to be doing some weathering. But let me show you how I go about doing some of this stuff. This is one of those little plastic bathroom cups you can buy. You know, a bunch of them in the supermarket. And what I usually do is uh, I'll cut this with a razor blade. If you try and use a scissor, it cracks. So that's it's just easier to do with a razor blade and what I wind up doing is getting a little bit of a little cup and then I save the upper part and I use that as a little paint palette. So let's uh, see if I can get this lined up. So this will be my cup. I'm going to put the alcohol and the ink in. Then we got some rubbing alcohol. And I'll put some of that in there. Now I'm doing this in a box with paper towels because the ink, once it's on or gets on something, it stains. So this way I have a chance to capture anything before it stains something that I don't want it to. And we got our ink. And I'm just going to put a couple of drops in. Let's try this one. Okay, let's grab a toothpick. All right, so we mix this up. Ooh. All right, you can see how. It looks darker than it's than it really is going to be. Okay, while we're waiting for that to dry, I thought I'd pull out an old boxcar kit. This is an old Accurail kit, and if you're into model trains, you know that this is old because they've changed the box style, but I've had this for a long time, and uh, typically I'll build the kit before I weather it, but I said, let's, uh, this has got, you know, it doesn't have the trucks on, but it's it's got the weight and stuff in here. Uh, so I'm going to weather this a little bit. Actually, it's the uh, same technique. And just want to, this I'll just go from the top down. So I'll put this on a little angle, and then it's just the same technique. And what we'll do is just do a, a half a side and see what, what it looks like. So a lot of times you pay attention to the rails for the doors. You know, you get run off and it would come down and I'll use the edge of the brush and just try and maybe highlight that a little bit more than what might be in here. There might be some streaks in here. I sound like Bob Ross, you know, the painter. Happy accents and stuff. There we go. So let's uh, see I can just dab on and, and get it to blood in there and even let it run down a little bit by itself. That's an older kit so the uh, what I'll do is I'll usually come in here with the ladder like this and then I'll uh, blot some of this off because it's just going to sit on the cast detail instead of just running behind it so that gives that a little bit more of an effect there. So I had it tilted, it ran through onto the other side. It's the nice thing about the, the ink, it flows pretty good. Right. 
usually where the wheels run it kicks up a little bit it's a little bit easier to do this with uh, a paint than with a I got some little bristles going on here but I'll just try and simulate about where the wheels would be kicking up and just trying to give a little bit more there let me get the uh, one my this brush wants to shed today but we'll keep going What I'm going to do is do half the car and then we'll let it dry and we'll see what it to compare it against the non streaked side. Thanks. Nice. Like I said, I'm just going right in there with my hand. I'm not worried about getting my fingerprints, so I'm just going to go over it again and we'll be fine. Same thing here with the hand rail, the hand grab, blot that off a little bit, a little bit more. Right. Just coming back and going over the rivet line because that would catch a little bit more than the center panels. One thing I try and take a look at is not starting a heavy streak in the middle because it's rainwater, so it's going to wash down. So if you have a very light up top and very dark coming down, usually it looks a little goofy. If, you, if you're simulating side spray, it's more of a bow wave type of a thing. Uh, so you know, it's uh, just trying to make it a little bit more um, realistic, right? Just think gravity is what's doing this. So. You see how quick with the alcohol it, uh, it evaporates out, which is nice. let the ink sit there a little bit and want it to be a little bit more pronounced right here and the other thing I, I, if it even after the ink if it's not given the result you can come back with some chalk and uh, give it a little bit more I'm not putting a lot of pressure because I don't want the brush to fan out. I'm just doing uh, little light streaks. I'm going to leave that to be a little bit less underneath the door rail. There we go. And you just let it even do its own little thing up there like that. Hopefully I don't pull this off camera too much on you, I just get kind of absorbed in it and, and what I'm doing and uh, hopefully I don't uh, keep you from seeing what I'm trying to show you. Alright, so let's let that sit. 
take a look here. You can see it's already dry. It's not coming off. So that's the nice thing with the alcohol. It's uh, I mean, if I really, really rubbed it, I probably could get it off. But so you see the before and after. So it just takes a, uh, it just knocks it down a little bit, gives it a little bit more of a realistic look. So let's uh, let's finish this car up. So you can also, if you really want to goof around a little, you can just blot and let it let nature take its course there. So that's really what's happening. So So I'm just angling the car the way I want it to flow. Let it flow down and see what happens here. I'm just going to lightly put this because you can't have anything, you know, it's got to have some change in tone. Otherwise, it'll you know look a little stupid. But, but you see how when we let it drip, it's still it's still there. We didn't lose that those flow lines the way it came down. All right, let's get the. Uh, get the side here. Let me see. How can I hold you? How about how about how about like this? Let's try that. We'll do the same thing here. We'll try and get uh, a little run. Alright, so I'm just going to Lightly tying the rest of the top. Let that come on down like that. So now you can blot out the brush and then just try and lightly blend some of this stuff in here. Tying it in. This was still a little tacky, so it's gonna. Okay, don't want any fingerprints on that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. The end here for where the wheels would come up. See if I put a lot, it'll just fan out like that. And I can blend that a little bit doing this. I think we are pretty much done with that. We're going to let that sit. 
Okay everyone, welcome back to Rich's Garage. Let's take a look at this box car and uh, see how it drives. It's been a couple hours. So I'm happy with this side. I like the way this came out. I'm not so happy with this side. It just seems a little artificial the way this is kind of like in space. So I'm going to come with a smaller brush and I'm going to um, just add a little bit there. And also what I'm going to do is with this small brush just do a little bit more highlighting as to where the wheel streaks would be. So let's see, this is dried out a bit. <clears throat> I may have to add a little bit. Let's see if there's any. So this will be a little um, strong, but let's, uh, for the wheel part, this may work out well. I'm just going to, since it's not as runny. Just a little subtle detail. Just like that. I'll do the other side. <coughs> Tap it to get inside uh, between the corrugations. All right. So I already know just from doing that it's going to be too dark for what I want to do on the box car. So I need to add some alcohol here to get this thinned out. Okay. Let's try this. So what I want to do is reinforce this part. To push that other a little bit back. Alright, I think that looks better already. And the rest I'm pretty happy with. So let's see, let's just do a little, a little bit more here. Very lightly on this one, just this one get the top of the rivets. Make it look like it pulled up on the bottom there. This is one of those where I probably should have left that alone, but because I didn't, now i got to make it work. So I'm just going to do that and reinforce it, and that's going to look better. I could. So I'm happy with that now. Uh, Alright, we'll put this aside and let that dry. Anything else I want to touch up while I still have a little bit left here? 
a little bright spot there, let's get rid of that. I'm okay with that, and come in and do a little bit more on the ribs here and there. Since we got a bunch here, I'm just going to darken this like it's running off there. Get a little bit there. Now it's almost more like a dry brushing. Alright, that's done. We'll put this aside. Hi everyone, welcome back. Everything's dry, so let's take a look at what we got. So here's that box car. This was the side that we did not go back and touch up. You can see where the uh, wheel uh, marks are on both sides. And you can see how this side just has a much better um, natural look to it as far as the streaking from before you know when it really wasn't tied in here now it looks more realistic so I'm happy with this and uh, I'll leave that as is